a Dollar Tree. Is it worth your time? The items there, are they worth your time? We're gonna talk about some items today and decide. And then we're gonna see which one's the best and which one's the worst. Let's start right off the bat. Now I haven't encountered this, but I've been regaled with your tales of it. Yes. You've actually encountered this foe, we're gonna call it. <laughs> um, years years ago. previous. Let, let's yeah. just let's just show this boy. Now I'm a Funyuns fan. Funyuns are like possibly my favorite chip. So when I saw cheap Funyuns, I was like, hell yeah, at Family Dollar back in the day. Yeah, these are not Funyuns, that's for sure. They're onions. Onions. I, which honestly, look, man, I think it's a more clever name than Funyuns. Uh, nah, no, never mind. Yeah, it's, Funyuns it's is pretty, pretty bad. It's solid, guy. Funyuns. Anyway, Rudolph brought us these, apparently. And um, so back in the day when I had these, I had one bite. I hated them. Mm -hmm. And our mom, which is infamously known for not wasting food, was like, I'll eat them. She took one bite and threw them away. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, unusually picky eaters for a couple of fat lards. And, uh, you know, food is food, man. Food is money. So she'll be like, I'll eat it, you know, if, if, if we don't like it. And, uh, she, yeah, let's just say that the ghosts of those onions fucking hangs over us like a sort of Damocles. <laughs> and I haven't even tried them. Yeah. You know, so this is my first time trying onions. You said they stunk? They were terrible back in the day. Now, I haven't had them in like over 10 years, so they might have gotten better. Might have changed. Let's see. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hmm? There's like a feedy scent oh, to it. Hold man. on. Feedy. Sure, it's not my tootsies. It's like if somebody took a Funyun, over fried it, and then sucked all the salt off. <laughs> you know what I'm getting at? Not really, but okay. That's exactly what this smells off. I realize that that's just describing a Funyun that sucks, but <laughs> come on, guys. Onions! Let me see that boy. Let me smell that boy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, there's the faint smell of a Funyun there, mm, but. There's. Yeah, they Do smell... you smell the suck off? The over fried and sucking? They part? smell way better than they used to. But there's like a bit of a vinegary scent there. There is, but that's just because it doesn't have enough spice. Yeah. So you just get the over the suck off. It's really the oil. <laughs> yeah, the suck so off. So it has that over fried suck, suck all the good shit off feeling Ooh, to it. I will say, I took a peek at them. They look better than they used to. So. And they used they That looks bad, but they used, they look better. You know what? I kind of want fucking onion rings now. Like real oh, ones. Hell we yeah, had some dude. last week and I was like, damn, boy, why don't I eat these all more often? They're so good, man. So there's an onion. Let's let's do what a, a true chip hound would do: is grab a, a few of them and then just go for it, guy. Let's see what happens. Are they gonna be good now? I'm gonna, I grab four. Ready? Yeah, two. So I'll say this: Yo, instantly, way better than they used to be. I ain't gonna lie; these are pretty good. I wouldn't say they're good, but they're all right. Yo, homie. I kind of like these, man. I will say Rudolph's has changed their their taste because these were terrible. And when I had them last time, they were overpoweringly flavored. Mm. Like too much flavoring. There's, that's, that's not a problem anymore. There's actually a decent amount of flavor there and they don't taste too bad. That's kind of like, I like the, 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 the flavor profile is a little bit subtler than the uh, uh, Funyun. But Funyuns are pretty like salty and mm. spiced up. So I kind of like that. Wait, I gotta get no. They are. Uh, there is a different texture to the to the bite, so that's cool because Funyuns honestly kind of hurt after a while. My like the roof of my mouth. Uh, so this is a softer flavor profile. So that's there's cool. a little bit of more of a sweetness, but there also, is a sweetness. Also a little bit of a tang there. It's a kind of an interesting. You know what? I like these, man. These are pretty good now. I'm gonna give them a fucking tan, guy. I will not go that far. I'll give them like a 8.5. I'm giving them a tan, guy. Yeah, on yum. Yeah. So let's ruin that. Let's ruin it because, surprise, surprise, we like on yums. Oh, no. But we know that we're possibly going to hate this. That's right. I said something definite and then immediately took it back. Uh, first of all, I'm not a dip guy to begin with. I like bean dip. I feel like bean dip is best eaten just just by itself all right that's how how anti-dip i am i disagree with that that's um, just beans only so uh alejandro oh, yeah. apparently made queso verde dip uh, or uh, as uh, we mexicans like to call it uh queso verde deep 
Good gag guy. Uh, I will say that this cheese is so delicious that it starts to implode upon itself. Now you're supposed to heat this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's clearly like caving in the world. You know, there's a black hole situation going on here. So you're supposed to microwave this. Let me see. My, remove film and lid. Heat and microwave for 30 seconds. So we're going to do that and then try them with, with some bunyums. Before, see if it, uh, before you do, though, open that boy and take a sniff. I mean, it's sealed. Oh, you mean the yeah. actually. All right. Let me see. Very much. And then correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think I'm right. A paste-like scent. <laughs> oh, wow. Out. Oh, my breath smells like dog. Oh, my God, It's dude. pure glue, right? Elmer's. That's straight Elmer's glue, guy. Yeah, if you ever smelled Elmer's glue, and who hasn't? That smells uh, more like Elmer's glue than Elmer's glue does. I mean, it is made out of milk, right, Elmer's? Right? Yeah, it's made out of uh, cow hopes, I believe. Uh, we're going to heat this up and uh, throw it away right afterwards. <laughs> we were right back. D-R-E-M. Pop, pop, twist, twist. Suck it up your butthole. Up there on the cheese, it started popping, so that's good. My high top shoes, wanna lick on your poo. Gonna lick your doo doo. My name is Boo Boo. Up there on the cheese, apparently it's gross. I'm gonna come back like a boomerang. So here's the thing, man. Uh, it was quite the ordeal heating this shit up. Uh, it tells you to heat it in increments of 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah. until your desired effect is reached. I just spent like 10 minutes and this thing is still chunks, <laughs> you know? Uh, oddly enough, the moment it started heating up, like I'm talking like I put it in and started it, that moment, popping sound. Yeah. <laughs> it was like pop, pop, twist, twist. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm hearing this jerk off sing JoJo Siwa in here <laughs> and I'm like pop, pop, twist, twist as well in there. It was a disgusting <laughs> ordeal. It wasn't good. So uh, <clears throat> it seems to boil at the bottom mm. and, and it never reaches oh the top. Oh my God, that looks disgusting. Well, I had to stir it and do the stench. I have never smelled cheese. That sm Look, cheese smells pretty gross, let's be mm. honest. The paste is gone, the smell? But uh, this is the results of like 10 minutes and it never changed. Oh. This is the smoothest consistency I got so far. Oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I don't want to. We're not cheeseites. I realize people are like, shut up and just eat it, you fat tards. But, you know, <laughs> Oh, shit, I hate cheese. So, here, come on, guy. Before it gets cold, you don't want that. Oh, no, so, uh, this looks disgusting. I gotta be careful here. Oh, oh it's so... Oh. It's so, like, fake sweet. A synthetic, sharp sweetness. Oh, Oh, that Dude, is not that, good. Hold on, I gotta. Maybe it was the. I gotta get just a little bit. Oh no, that's the cheese. That's, yeah, that's the cheese, dude. That's bad. The paste-like scent translates to the taste, and then you add like a sickeningly sweet, like. It's uh, yeah, it's super sweet for some reason. It's disgusting. I'll give this. It doesn't uh, taste like freaking green green chili. It just tastes yeah. terrible. I'll give you a zero, it's man. It's plastic. Yeah, zero. This is the piss. You that know, should be a freaking war crime, guy. I have no, no, no regrets about throwing this in the trash can. Wait. This Classic. Is what, this is what you got, guy? Classic box of animals. A, bar, a, a fucking rectangle of beasts. Full disclosure, I had already purchased a box of animals and a box of insects. So, uh, okay, before we go break into these beastie box... Uh, your previous purchase was clearly bug-oriented. Bugs? You mean bugs? I hate bugs! So, uh, what's your satisfaction level with, uh, the assortment of bugs? I'm gonna be honest with you, I only got the bug box because I needed some grasshopper heads. And it also came with some mantis bodies. And then so, some, uh, some millipedes. Centipi oh, no, yeah, millipedes. Whatever they are, yeah. I was pretty happy with it. I, I enjoy a good bug every now and again. Now, I do have a complaint about the uh, Beast Box. The Beast Box, uh, uh, I enjoy it for one piece and one piece alone, and that's that ape. That mad ape. So let's see what we got here. You already have a previous ape. Uh, I'm making... Which made uh, a cameo appearance in the last one. I'm <laughs> making grasshopper apes, so that's why I got these. They're called uh, uh, grapes, I believe. Uh, they're called uh, ape hoppers. Good one. Good one, guy. 
I'm gonna be straight up. These these are awful. Damn, homie. So we got a uh, mad lion. Lion. DJ Khaled will be proud. Lion. Dude, I gotta say that. Th look, man. Here's a pachyderm, right? Yeah. Pachyderm Pete. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? I know where you're going with this. So we got yeah. we got pachyderm Pete here, and then we got this fucking you huge ass cappuccino. Yeah, this little cappuccino monkey that's like 10, 10 miles tall, man. <laughs> yeah, I agree. This monkey clearly black. is King Kong's brethren. And then we got actual King Kong over here, and he's like fucking tiny as shit. Yeah, tiny guy. So that sucks. Yeah. So one ape in a long box yeah, of dude. beasts is not a good game. I'm not going to lie. I almost went to a life of crime and opened a couple boxes and put some apes in there. You're going to trade out the, the, the fucking massive cappuccines for, eight, yeah. for tiny apes? I was just going to walk out of that Dollar Tree <clears throat> with an ape box. Unfortunately, they taped those boys. Yeah. Trust me, nobody would have cared. No. But I guess, I guess that's that, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a mad zero, guy. <laughs> you know? Normally I would agree, but it did bring in the classic grass ape. Grasshopper ape is pretty cool, but is is he worth a dollar? Hell yeah, guy. No, because you have to construct him out of things. So he's worth more, actually. <laughs> he really is. Anyway, plus he glows in the dark. I'm gonna give it a one. What do you What do you give it? I'm gonna give it like a freaking. I'm gonna give it a two just because you only get one ape. It is, I guess, like a, look. I'm looking at to the kids of an eye, the eyes of a kid, kids not the kids eye. of an eye. <laughs> <laughs> the kids of an eye, disturbing. Yeah. But uh, through the eyes of a kid, I had little beasties as a kid, and uh, they were okay. I guess a kid will give it like a, a middling vibe. Not, not. It's not He-Man. That's right, He-Man. It's not He-Man, but it, it'll it'll tide you over. I just questioned the selection. It's a little whack. It's about as whack as your wig, as they say, as mm -hmm. the old saying goes. Your wig is whack. Uh, so anyway, next item, boom. Mini Jenga. Uh, oh no, mini tumbling tower. What was it tumbling tower game? Yeah, mini tumbling tower game. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jenga. Like my presentation game. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> This is uh, not a high dollar affair, guys. We're buying shit from the dollar store over here. Yeah. So, a tumbling tower game. I guess we'll play a game of Jenga? Alright, so here is the tiny Jenga tower, or tumbling tower blocks, or whatever yeah. the fuck it's called. <laughs> and look, the first thing I noticed when we opened this, we both noticed it, was that these smell like Mexico. Now, in case you're not Mexican, you might be wondering, what does that mean? Does Mexico smell like delicious, fresh cut wood? Answer, no, it smells like ass. Uh, Dookie. but if you go to like Mexican markets, like real Mexican markets, uh, a lot of uh, people do woodwork and, yeah. and they'll have like these puppets that they sell and stuff and they smell exactly like this, obviously because it's wood, right? So, and cheap wood at that apparently. <laughs> Super cheap. So, uh, anyway, Jenga is just, let's try to keep this boy alive. Family tower game, guy, get so, it right. I'm gonna go with, uh... I mean, it moves when you try to, yeah. so I guess you kind of got to push it a little bit. So, I feel uh, that maybe these aren't smoothed out like they're supposed to be. Are they grainy? They, yeah, they're super yeah, grainy. Yeah, see, that's already a, a knock against it. Yeah, is Jenga smooth? Well, it's supposed to be a slightly smooth. Or that no. way you can push it, yeah. These are mad grainy. Check it out. Oh, dude, there's no way you can play a good game of Jenga with that. I, I mean, it moved the moment yeah, I touched yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. So, so that's, let's pretend that was... That was yeah. you. I'm gonna go with one of you. Yeah, you're going for a guy? Yeah, I'm going for it. You know what? You do it for me. That's, what, that's what I was trying Here, to do. So. You can use this pencil. You, if you can want. use you can, can you use material. Clearly never played Jenga. Yeah. Well no, but look how small this is and how grainy. Okay. I'm looking to finish this fucker yeah, quick, yeah, so finish that boy. The whole thing moves away. Hey. Oh, you're supposed to place them on the top, guy. Oh shit, two of them Oh that's right, huh? Mm -hmm. So uh impromptu moves here. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you right now, before we even finish this game, before you even give your thoughts, uh, I will use these, but not for what they're used for. Yeah, ditto, ditto, <laughs> or as uh, this game inspires, shitto. <laughs> I feel like these are pretty good little carving boys, you know? Yeah, so uh, I'm going to pick this one right here. Oh, dude, are you going for it again? Oh, oh shit, we lost! Uh, Jenga! Uh, oh, wait, Tumbling Tower game! <laughs> yeah, you got to scream uh, Triple T. Yeah. I don't know what, oh, that's right, Triple T. T I don't know why. Mean? Uh, but anyway, uh, clearly, clearly rigged that game, yeah. right? Uh, no, they are a bit too rough. Yeah, a little rough. So uh, that's the thing. I mean, they're cute. They're fun, I guess. If you like Jenga, yeah. you can collect a cheap ass version of it, I guess. If, if you're a, a whittling type, a wood whittler, I feel like you got some uh, 
Some wood wheel. Some fodder. Yeah, some fodder. I'll be honest, it's fine. Uh, clearly just didn't want to play the game. Because, mm-hmm. uh, you know. Who plays Tanga? Yeah. So, uh, I'll give it a, I'll give it a fucking, like, if I had actually tried and cared to play the game, I'll give it a, I'll give it a fucking, like, 7, whatever. I'll give it, yeah, yeah. Aesthetically, it's nice. 7.5. Cool, cool. Good Let's good. move on to the next one. The next one is, not the tumbled, tumbling tower blocks, but, uh, this, this old boy right here, uh, Pet Rock Paint, paint set. set. I feel like rocks are a dime a dozen, so... That's already a problem. But it is shaped like a little turt. I enjoy turtles. It's not of the ninja variety, but nah. you know, then again, those aren't real. Ooh. Damn. Kinda don't want to ruin it. Alright, so here here's the deal, kids. We got uh these little paints. Yeah, these are usually pretty bad. Yeah, you know, dollar store some some cheaper paints from good places suck ass yeah so you can only imagine dollar store paints are probably gonna be ass but we could be wrong so we got a uh, glitter that's a paint oh cool guy okay. uh white black and green you know the, cla- like the classic turtle <laughs> colors <laughs> like, every time i see a turtle it's like damn that boy's glittery that's normal then we got the, the actual turtle with so- well we got a brush obviously yeah. to apply shit but, but one of those, those are like the worst brushes too yeah look at that look, the, look at that plastic bristle boys come on guy what is that mm. Um, but this turtle guy... I'm not gonna lie, I don't want to ruin as hell. it, guy. Don't want to ruin it. Maybe we could so use, use we it could on paint the bottom. Yeah, or one of those tumble boys. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. You're gonna keep this because it's cute. But we'll test how the bottom holds paint. Yeah. Which should be easier than the gritty yeah, ass yeah. top. So, if it doesn't look in the, good in a smooth area, imagine this. All up in the clan. Tandy. Looking, looking for some highness. I'm on the creek. I need a bag one. A real free. Uh, we've encountered a problem already. The amount of paint they give you, <laughs> you know, uh, that's how. That's the main color too. Yeah, green. I mean, pretty much. I don't think you're gonna be much, using much black and and white <laughs> or glitter. Classic turtle colors, <laughs> though they may be. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. come on, guys. All right. So as after mentioned, we didn't. Des- we decided not to paint the turtle because. It's mega cute. And now, full disclosure, you will probably paint the turtle with yeah, better paints. With good paints, yeah. Um, so we did some swatches here. This is just first application. So anybody that paints knows that you kind of got to layer shit for it to look good. So the black came out pretty strong in the okay, first yeah. application. It's got a good black. So you probably wouldn't even need that too many layers of that. So that's good. And the green came out super streaky. But you could see a few layers working. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, they don't give you enough for a few layers. So you're <laughs> fucked. Uh, and then this gray right here. That's just a mixture of black and white. Uh, we put the glitter on it. I don't know if that's visible. But it, the glitter is not paint. It's just actual yeah, glitter. Yeah, it's glitter. And uh, I don't know if it's visible on the camera. But it looks pretty good here. It, it got a good dispersion on there. Uh, and that's the white. Again, streaky. But a few layers would work. And... I believe there was enough of the white. Did all the paints have the same amount as the no, green? No, there was more black and white than there was green. Guys, if you're going to sell a turtle, you got to put the green in. Yeah. Of course, the major problem besides yeah. the lack of green is, is that this brush sucks ass. Shockingly, these you know, these paints are usually pretty bad. These paints aren't the worst I've seen, but the brush makes everything look bad because of how streaky and rough it is. Yeah. So if you're going to get this turtle, which I'm going to give the turtle itself without it's a paint. Tan guy. a mad tan because yeah. it's cute. Yeah, and you want to paint it for your mom or uh, your lover, <laughs> or, or your your, uh, mas- uh, your uh, ninjutsu master rat. Yeah, yeah, very important to take care of him, and uh, or you know your dominatrix, whatever. Uh, yeah, just use better paints and a better brush, and, and you know come out nice. Uh, but I'll give it a, yeah, I'll give it a ten. I mean, the paints I'll give a mad zero to. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So there you go. There's that. All right. So next we have this glass pen mm-hmm. you know you don't have the package anymore because you're a fool well full disclosure i actually bought this for myself uh most of the other stuff you'll see in this series will be stuff we bought specifically for the series but yeah. this i got a couple weeks ago but this is a dollar tree it's yeah. a glass pen i mean just design wise i guess it's kind of cool sold up pretty quick work? sold up pretty quick too oh yeah and they haven't restocked <laughs> so oh it- comes with this ink yes obviously you dip it into the ink and you can the ink it came with 
so this is gonna be a little bit of an altered test because the ink it came with was terrible. It was green ink and it was pretty shit. What would you give the original ink? Zero. Mad zero on the original so ink. So that one you're gonna play you use is a mix of the original ink and this black India ink from Walmart, which yeah, right there. So it's slightly better, but it's still not great. I would just recommend using regular black ink. How often do you have to dip on this boy? Let me see. Uh, well, the benefits of a glass pen is that you don't have to dip as much as a regular, you know, dip pen. Uh, you do. Ha there is a little bit of adjustment because you have to kind of twist it as it as it starts going down in level. Um, but like I said, the benefits of a glass pen is that it's very smooth writing, and you don't have to dip it as much because it stays in those reservoirs. You know what? This is pretty dope, guys. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's very good. So yeah, it's got like these uh, spiral, well, not spiral, but these weird like pseudo spiral crenulations on the tip. I just realized that I was like all the way over here. Yep. These pseudo spiral crenulations that hold the ink. So it goes down as, as you twist it, like you said. And you know what? Pretty solid, man. There's a little bit of an adjustment to when, you know, you have to twist, but it does work quite well. And I will say that to buy a glass pan on Amazon, they're about 10 to 20 bucks. Uh, so to get one for a buck is pretty good. Pretty solid, I gotta say. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give this a 10, guy. I agree. I'm not even a pen guy. And uh, I can tell you that now I'm a penguin. A quick update on the Funyums. Uh, the more you eat them, the more they kind of suck. <clears throat> yes, quick update. I'm gonna have to drop my rating to 8. Mm. But they're still pretty good. I'm gonna give it like a 6. But like yeah, a good six. Uh, oh my god, dude, the breath. I know you got an open mouth, so you don't get it, but the the um, the scent stuck in my tendrils right oh, now. Oh, the cheese scent? It is so bad. Yeah, that cheese is terrible. Worst thing. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop eating, guys. <laughs> no, nah, boy, you're good. <laughs> they so literally look, distract. The, the worst, worst thing, thing is that. It's clearly this glue yeah. of a product. Best thing, guy. In my opinion, this little turtle guy. I don't know what else do we have. We had our the Jenga. We had the turtle, onions. Uh, oh yeah, the, the, the animal re rectangle was not getting shit. So yeah, the turtle gets surprised just on uh, just on account of its cuteness. Yeah, and the fact that using better tools you can oh actually God. make something cool. Dude, that's sick. It's so bad. What are you the hot boxing uh, cheese? What's well, stuck in my tendrils? <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, tell us what's stuck in your tendrils and join us next time for more of this crap. And check out our other videos of even more assorted dumb crap, guys. Yeah, it's not good. Really the worst channel on YouTube. Oh man, our dog's taking a urine right now. Come on, guy, don't pee inside!